Hello, today we will look at task 1 of the IELTS writing module. This is letter writing. In letter writing, we have to take care that we understand what is required in the letter and we have to also cover all the bullet points which are given in the format of the question. So let us first look at the question itself. In letters we are usually required to do certain actions that is the task demands that we either inform someone about something or we request them or we complain or we apologize, invite, suggest, explain, in refuse or accept an invitation. All these are actions that we are required to do in the form of language in every letter. So you may be asked to write to someone requesting information or requesting them to do something for you. It may be a complaint to an airline or to some other official about something that has gone wrong. It can be an apology that you have to convey to someone. It could be a number of suggestions that you have to give to a friend or to somebody who needs advice. Or you may need to explain a situation or a problem to some friend or a person to whom you are communicating. So these are the different actions and each action requires a certain kind of language. Now some kind of standard language that can be used in letter writing is could you please and then after that put the verb. The verb could be inform, allow, agree, consent and so on. So any verb can be put over there. However, it's important to remember that you must use very polite forms. Can you? Could you? Could you please? Would it be possible? This is the kind of language you need. Then another kind of sentence you can use in letters is I would like to know. I would like to request you for some information regarding. This is how the sentence can start or perhaps you could tell me. This is also a polite way of requesting. Uh, then if you are to respond to something, it is good to use a sentence like, I am pleased to inform, I am pleased to accept or invite you for a party or whatever the occasion is. So you can complete the sentence in this way. If it is the other way, that is you wish to convey some regret, for example, you are requested to do something but you can't do it. So you would say something like, I regret my inability. You would write that or you would say, I am sorry that it is not possible for me and then give the reasons why you cannot agree to something. It can also be that you use a phrase like, I am afraid I cannot do this in the time given to me or in the circumstances. This is the kind of language that you need uh, to uh, convey something in a letter. Uh, then another sentence which actually uses the verb convey, I wish to convey my concern or my dissatisfaction. It can even be, I wish to convey my annoyance. Uh, or anxiety because you are complaining about something that has caused a lot of trouble to you. So you must express that emotion that is required in certain kinds of letters where there is complaint or even when there is an apology that I am sincerely sorry or I sincerely regret or I sincerely apologize. This is the way that an apology can be given. Uh, in the end of the letter, there is a standard kind of conclusion that you can give. For instance, a sentence like, I look forward to hearing from you, which is quite common in all kinds of letters, but usually in uh, formal letters. 
uh, I look forward to immediate action on your part. This makes it a little more urgent. So if you want to convey a sense of urgency. And if you really want something to be done immediately, you would say, I look forward to hearing from you uh, or to an early response in this matter. But if it is not so urgent, you can say, at your convenience, or I look for action on an urgent basis if you are really concerned about quick action. So this is some of the standard language and you can remember this language and fit it to the kind of action that you are needed to write about in the letter. Finally, you need to ensure that in a letter tone is very important, the tone of the letter. Do you imagine that you are actually writing to someone? Don't take it just as an exercise. You are actually trying to communicate and make some effect on that person. So you actually need that tone which will create the effect. So if it is a friend, you need a tone that is appropriate for a friend. If it is an official, if it is a colleague or if it is a relative, then the tone must be changed accordingly. Politeness is very important in letters because letters are a form of correspondence which is not face to face. So you need markers of politeness such as please or could you, could you possibly, would it be possible for you. So these are different degrees of politeness, very polite or you can be neutral or you can be friendly or even slightly casual or you could say to a friend for instance that uh, uh, I'd be happy if you do this for me. This is a more casual way of requesting where you don't use any uh, higher degree of politeness. But to an official or to a colleague you may need to be more polite. Finally emphasis is very important. Uh, you need to use words like extremely, most, very pleased, absolutely, deeply. So it would be a good idea to make a list of such words so that you can use them for emphasis in your letters. So if you take care of these aspects of letter writing, you will certainly get a higher band in letter writing.